So today we're only going to be looking at a six foot seven fucking monster. This guy is actually that tall. Can you guys believe that? And also, I think this is the first player I've ever reviewed that is this tall. So keep that in mind, guys. I bought him for a hundred k. I was lucky enough to buy him for a hundred k on the PlayStation, but he has uh, well, his price has gone up since then. So be careful for what you purchase him for because I have no idea if he's going to go down or up. But I think it can be going up from now because of how rare he is on on the PlayStation. Anyway, he's also got 98 strength. But before I begin the review, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battlelink.com. The link will be in the description and use the code Itani to get 5% off. So at six foot seven and perfect work rate, guys. Perfect work rate. Normally, when you find someone that's tall and strong and has good heading, they always have higher defensive work rate and so on and so forth. But this guy has perfect work rate, which means you could always count on him to be in the box when you're crossing it in. But he's also on the slow side, so he is really slow and it really shows when you're sprinting with him. But he has 98 strength, but no aggression. So that means he's not going to last long in battle against other defenders. And I found Jones stronger than this guy, even though Jones have less strength, but he, ha he does have more aggression. So keep that in mind, guys. If you've tried Jones, this guy isn't as strong. Now, he's good. He's a good finisher in the penalty area. Had no problems finishing with him, even though his finishing is a bit on the low side in his stats. I found him very reliable to finish in the penalty area. And also, he has amazing finish that shot surprisingly even though his curve is shit in his in-game stats and even though his finishing is on the low side in his in-game stats this guy for some reason has amazing finesse shots and you'll see a couple that look completely insane and one of them that just goes right below the goalkeeper and he does not catch it or get anywhere near it and I finessed it from like 35 to 40 yards so quite a long way away from the goal now his dribbling his agility and his balance are complete shit so one thing I have to say to you guys is there's only some people that are gonna know how to use this guy and while reviewing him I've actually come up against a team that actually had this player himself the inform and he did not score any goals against me because the guy just didn't know how to use him I scored around three to four goals with the same player. So if you know how to use strong players that have complete and utter shit dribbling and shit pace, you will love this guy. But if you don't, which I think a lot of you don't really consider this guy actually a good player, then you won't like him. And I think he's going to be one of the hidden gems in this game. His long shots are quite terrible as well. He is slow with three star weak foot and two star skills. But like I said, if you know how to use a strong player, you will like this guy. But overall, is he better than Jones? He's just slightly better in my opinion because of how I could use him and I found him just a more a more effective player than Jones. And also at six foot seven, I expected every cross to be a goal. So I don't expect that from him, but um, he has good heading, not amazing, but good heading in my opinion. And overall, I thought he was better than Jones. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know who you would like me to review next and I hope you guys have a very nice day. Nice day.